All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. So obviously I wanna find the value of k in this equation. So to start off, k times k times k is the same thing as k to the power of three. So I have k to the power of three plus k is equal to 30. And now I'm gonna subtract 30 on both sides. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus 30 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as k to the power of three plus k minus 27 minus three is equal to zero. And 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus three to the power of three minus three is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this is equal to k minus three times k squared plus 3k plus 3 squared, which is 9. And we can't forget our plus k minus 3 at the end, which is this part right here. And this is equal to 0. So now, because both of these terms have k minus 3 in them, I can factor out k minus 3. So I get k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 9 plus 1, because k minus 3 divided by k minus 3 is 1 is equal to zero. So this turns into k minus three times k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna divide this into two different equations. I have k minus three equals zero and k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. So for k minus three equals zero, I can add three on both sides. So I get k is equal to three. So this is one solution of k. And for k squared plus 3k plus 10 equals 0, because it's a quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And I can rewrite this as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31i over 2, because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So this is two more solutions of K. So these are my three solutions. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation X to the power of X to the power of five is equal to 100. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of five on both sides. Now I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m on x to the power of x to the power of five to the power of five. We can think of x to the power of five as m and five as n, so I can switch the places of these two. So now I get x to the power of five to the power of x to the power of five is equal to 100 to the power of five. Now, 100, I'm going to rewrite that as 10 squared. So now I have 10 squared to the power of 5. And another property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5 is going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5, which is 10 to the power of 10. And now my final property of exponents that I'm going to use for this video 
is that if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. Now to solve this, we need to get rid of this power of 5 by taking the fifth root on both sides. So the fifth root of x to the power of 5 is x. So I get x is equal to the fifth root of 10. This is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to your friends. Thank you.